Hi guys, it's Darren here from Deep Blue Apps. We've got a brand new Double Dragon Streets of Rage style template here for you today. Really excited to bring you this one. I think it's a GS first um, because as you're going to see in a minute, we've got really nice layers uh, for the enemies and the hero. Just going to go through some of the moves you can do. You can see there we've got jump, punch and kick. Um, you can actually jump and punch, which is that. You can jump and kick, which does a high kick. And then you've got your standard low kicks and punches. Now if you get within a certain radius of the enemies uh, they will actually come after you and if you're a bit slow on the old punch then as you can see they will actually whack you in the face and you'll lose a bit of health as you can see with the health bar. Now the way this is set up it's really cool I won't be able to come down here and punch and hit. I need to be on a similar y-axis to the hero and obviously close enough in the z-axis as well. Now I've used a nice technique to uh, figure all the calculations out and it runs really fast on the device as well. I'm just going to punch and kick, um, knock this guy out if I can. I'm just going to uh, move back a bit, kick him again. We'll go up to the top here, turn round, punch, and he's actually flat out now. Um, we'll make him get back up again though in a second, and here he comes. And now we're going to get the second enemy, and this is when things uh, start getting a little bit harder, because you've got two enemies to kill. And as you can see with the layers, you can actually move in between two enemies, and... That's really cool. And also the enemy's lair as well. Now this yellow one is a little bit faster than the orange one. You can see he's behind him there. Come down though and wow, look, the yellow enemy is actually in front of the orange enemy now. Um, so like I've said, it's really, really cool, this template. Some really nice uh, tricks and tips here. And I've made notes in the template as well so you can un understand what's going off. I'm just going to move down here. I'm just going to knock them both out again. Uh, with a bit of a kick, I think. Yeah, they've both been knocked out. Now I'm just going to show you what happens when they actually knock us out because we've only got a few hit points. They actually come up, bang, 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 and we're actually dead as well. I'm just going to close that one down and show you some art packs that Chris has done. Now these art packs are going to be on sale over at Deep Blue Apps. You can drop them straight in. Now there's loads more animations than what I've just shown you there with the dummies. Um, I didn't use probably around about 50% of the animation uh, I didn't use. So there's heaps and heaps of uh, different animation frames in the art pack. Um, they've just got two baddies here. Now Chris has made three characters. We've got two males and one female. And we've also got three baddies. And I've just put one of the characters in here and also uh, two of the baddies. Just to show you what you can get if you buy the art packs from uh, Deep Blue Apps. I'm just going to quickly smash these up. <laughs> Look at back a little bit. Oh, he's hit me while I was trying to run away, the little sneaky bugger. Um, let's just try and get, yeah, like knocked out the ninja. Uh, just got the bad guy now. Oh, and he's knocked out as well. So yeah, you get the art packs uh, from Deep Blue Apps as well. Um, really, really nice. And like I've said, there's three heroes and uh, three enemies to collect in the art packs. Uh, don't forget we've got an Angry Birds type template out as well and both templates have been built in the latest version of Game Salad so they run nice and smooth and work as you'd expect and once again thank you for the support over at deepblueapps.com and I'm going to sign off now. See you soon guys.